All right, so here's a little update in my man cave, and there it is. Most of the boxes that were in the middle, they are gone. I finally have a seat. I don't know if I, if I showed it last time. These boxes are just my games that are gonna go up in the wall here, so I'm not worried about that. I just have to get the shelves put on here and put them in display, and that's basically it. This couch is probably gonna stay just because this is the retro gaming side right here. That printer does not go there, and this is all my systems. That steering wheel is gonna be sold. And this is with some of my RK sticks in the bottom there. And then here, on this side right here, this bottom is gonna be my camera stuff. I need quick access to the cameras. I don't like to store it away. It's gonna look way even better like when I put the shelves and I put things on display. But for now, this is how it looks. Let's go to the garage. So you can see you have another box here. But mostly everything is the same as I left it. And what we're gonna do now is is some cleanup. I have my water ready here because <laughs> this house in PA is really hot. Like the sun comes from that side and it hits the house like straight on. So this is like a must right here. We are gonna move some cars around because I'm gonna turn this car around. And the reason for that is, I noticed that when I turn on the car, all the fumes stay here in the back. Even though that this is open right here, the fumes stay here and it takes a while to get out. So. I don't want to die early or premature, so I'm gonna turn the car around so when I turn it on, the gases can go on that side and go out. Oh yeah, baby. My own garage. Welcome to the Rengine garage. Now let's move that car and then turn around the Jeep. Mission accomplished. Now I have to see where I'm gonna put all these things at. And we are finally done. There's no more boxes, nothing to store away. Now, the only thing that's left is to organize. And that will come as time goes on because I don't know exactly where I want things and how I want things arranged. Let me show you the unpackaged stage. So there it is. Everything is packed up here. I see the same thing is here, but there's no more boxes. I have my, my dolly in the trash can. I have this as the tools slash cleaning side kit I still need to put the shelves there everything is stored up on the top I have all the miscellaneous parts here that I have to rearrange here there 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 and this side too and on top here and this is like the rack how it's looking just one thing that's bugging me out like I have never ever seen this G so clean <laughs> I was just coming out of the uh, garage, I went to get something, and I seeing it like from the side, and, it, and it's still so clean. Like, see the wheels are like super clean. And it's been a few days like that, like, I have never seen the G so clean in my entire lifetime. It's like the first time I've seen it so clean for a few days. I think it's been like a week since I cleaned it. 
and it's still clean well this is in a garage <laughs> but you know I never had a garage so I never had this experience to clean something and it's still clean <laughs> I don't know it's pretty cool you know it's just a little small stuff you know and the getcha you know but anyway that is it for this little update of the garage now let's get to working on the G So the problem was a little worse than I thought. I thought it was just that they came out, but some of them actually broke. So you guys right here, see this? Two of them actually broke in the middle because of rust. Isn't that funny? That was one here, another one right there. One there, and one there. These two are intact, but still rusty, and these just looks horrible but yeah this one is still there but the ones that broke were these two for some reason so I try to replace them with these right here or I'm gonna try to put these ones I'm gonna replace them with these again or maybe I could just put these ones this looks a little bit more sturdy it's a little worse than I thought but let's fix this Alright, so this side is done. So you can see it's much, much, much straighter. Looking good and it's really tough on there. Really, this is like a little bit softer. Well, it's just a flex. But yeah, this I scratched it a little bit. <laughs> Cause there was a screw and I was actually broken and I needed to use that to take it out. And I wasn't noticing that I was scraping it. But this is like look at this. See that? Easily scrapable. Take care of the other side the same way as we did this one, and I'm gonna show you guys the end result. Okay, so this side looks like this. I had to drill the holes inside the metal because this side, for some reason, I only put it, I remember that I only put it to the actual bumper, but now I drill into a frame. So now it's super sturdy as the other side. Like right on right. See? Is, is it? This is just a flex from the corners, but yeah, pretty under, pretty good. So yeah, now the G looks back to being decent. Now with that stuff, all hanging out stuff. So there you have you guys, the first fix to the G inside the new garage. PA has been going great so far. I've been relaxing, just de-stressing. You know, it's not like you know, like PA is stress-free. Of course not. Every state is has their own stress, right? But it's not as much as New York. I tell you that much. <laughs> you know. <laughs> people everywhere how in the world are you gonna turn like that I'm going fast little boy can't you see I'm going fast I tell you man some people 